Hey you, welcome to day two of Renewing Your Mind and Marriage Challenge. Today, we're going to talk about surrenderance. One of the things that dropped in my spirit this morning was um, many of us are measuring our marriages uh, up against other marriages. Marriages we see on social media, marriages that we see in our lives, marriages uh, of what we see in passing, whatever that may be, but we're looking at other marriages and we're um, looking and saying, I wish that my marriage was like this, or I wish that my spouse was like this. When in reality, God has set something so unique and so different about your marriage that some of us cannot fully embrace what your marriage can be because we still have the vision of someone else's marriage that sits before us. So one of the things in surrenderance, um, when we talk about surrendering our marriage, that means God, I will surrender even the very imagery of what I have concerning how my marriage should be or what my marriage should look like, right? We have all of these certain things in our mind that we're saying, well, I wish he would do this or I wish she would do that. And I wish and and get this, y'all. What happens is we really don't give our spouses a fair chance because we've already compared them to what we see somewhere else. When in reality, if we really took the moment to sit back and begin to see our spouses through the lens of faith, through the lens of Christ, through his word, then we will begin to see the originality of who Christ has created them to be, even if we don't see that currently, right? Because some of us are frustrated right now because we don't, they're not what we feel like they should be. Well, let me ask you a question. Are you what you feel like? What Are you what your spouse feel like you should be? right? So it's a double-edged sword. And so what happens is when we feel like our spouses are um, mishandling us because we're not who they think we should be, we're not who we, uh, we uh, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> we're not who we think uh, they think we should be. Then we get offended. Then we're in our own emotion and we're going through this battle and this war within because of these expectations that are unreal. They're unmet. They're unmet. They won't be matched. They're unmatched. Why? Because you literally have this vision of who I'm supposed to be and it doesn't align with who I'm created to be. You're aligning me with who you saw. And who you're, you know, yeah. So listen, stop comparing your marriages to the marriages that you see on social media. They only show you what it is that they desire to show you. All right, you get that. So in surrendering our marriage, what we're going to do is today we're going to declare that we surrender our marriage unto the Lord. All right? So if you didn't catch yesterday, yesterday was on repentance. Go back to the video and you can catch that from yesterday. But we're going to pray and we're going to declare James 4, 7 over us, which says this, that submit yourselves then to God. We resist the devil and he will flee. So if we submit ourselves to the Lord, then it gives us the strength to resist the enemy in our marriages. And he has to go. He has to flee. But a lot of us, because we have not submitted ourselves to God, 
when certain things arise in marriage, we don't have the strength to resist it. So therefore, we're going to submit ourselves to the Father today. And today, we're going to deal with the fact that we have not submitted ourselves as well as because we have not submitted ourselves, we haven't been able to submit our marriages. All right? So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we come before you, God, yielding and surrendering our marriage unto you. Father, we acknowledge our wrongdoing and trying to control the things on our own, these things on our own. And we ask for your forgiveness. God, we recognize that you are the ultimate authority over our marriages and over, over our own lives. And God, we are willing to submit ourselves wholeheartedly to your wisdom, to your guidance, and to your instructions. And so, Father, we say have your own way in our marriage we get out of the way so that you can be lord over our lives and so father we say thank you be lord over our marriage be lord over every aspect of it in the mighty mighty name of jesus christ we receive and we believe and god we wholeheartedly surrender ourselves to you and this process we love you and we thank you for the outcome of our surrenderance in the name of jesus for we love you and we thank you in jesus name amen amen i love you all listen i'll see you tomorrow for day three yes i'm gonna upload a day three right all i'm, I'm uploading all this week we got 21 days of this whole entire challenge and so this is day 20 and so we're going to continue on. I love you all and I'll catch you guys on tomorrow. God bless.